So I'm just going to demonstrate two animals from the story A Christmas Promise just to give you a basic idea of what you should do or how you can do it. Um, so first one I did was Slippery Green, who was the snake. And we drew him long ways because he was a snake and we had to use a lot of the paper. Um, this time I'm going to do the Blue Jays. Which I'll use to flip it over. And the blue jay is a bird and it has a wide wingspan, so I'm going to turn the paper this way. Okay? So the first part I'm going to start with is the head. And his head's going to be over here. Then the body's going to be here, and then a wing here, and a wing over here. Okay? So the head. And blue jays have these feathers on top of their heads, kind of in the back, like so. And then on the front of the face, we're going to come out and do a sideways V for his beak. And remember, I'm sketching, so that means I'm doing it really lightly. So if I make a mistake, I can erase it. Okay, so there's the bottom half of the bird. Now I'm going to come up behind the back of the head feathers. And then... I'll stop right there because right here we're going to have a wing come up and go out and then we're going to do feathers. And then on the back part of the wing is the rest of the bird's body. So I'm going to start here and see how this one ends here. And then we'll do some tail feathers. And the bird has two wings, so here's one of them. And the other one we'll do, let's see, we'll just do the other one like this. And then it will stop right here because that's on the other side of its body and we can't really see it. Then he has some feet and they're tucked back. Kind of like when we did the little red hen. We'll just do one because we won't be able to see both of them. Then I will do an eye. And then the beak. Okay, so there's the basic outline for the blue jay. And now I'm going to get a marker or a gel pen to do the outline. So I have a, it is a blue jay. So I'm going to use a blue marker. And we are just going to outline all of the pencil sketching that we did. Even the eye. Okay? So just go slow, take your time, and just follow the lines. Okay, so here is my blue jay all outlined with the marker. So the first I will, I have already hydrated the blue. And I'm just going to start up at the head and I'm just going to paint the whole bird. It is a blue jay. And blue jays are what color? Yes, blue. And I'm just using the tip of my brush. It makes it way more easier to control. And then I wanted to point out if I can get down here enough. We leave the belly kind of blue. I mean white, not blue. So I'm just going to paint the blue down to about here. And um, come on, paintbrush. And then I'm going to maybe I'll do a little bit more on the chest. About that much. Leave this part white. Okay. And then, oh, another point, which I want to point out because I can tell I'm doing it right here. We don't want to paint repeatedly in the same spot over and over or it'll make the paper very weak and it will rip a hole in it and then you'll have to start over and then you, all that hard work you did is gone so once you put color on one part of the paper just keep going don't do the same spot over and over and over okay and when uh your paint gets a little dry just dip your brush in the water rehydrate it and keep going. So I'm gonna just keep doing this until I fill in all of the wings in the top of the bird. 
All right, I got all of the blue filled in. And so the last part we have to do on the blue jay are the feet, the eye, and the beak. And luckily, those are all the same color. So again, I just added a little bit of water to the black to make it super concentrated so it's nice and dark. And I'm going to do the beak, the eye, and the foot. Or the one foot that we can see. See, my paint's a little dry, so I'm just going to dip it in the water and make it a little bit more hydrated. There we go. And then you can just drag it where you need it. Okay. There we go. So these are just two examples of the animals from the story that you could choose to do. Slippery green. Or the blue jay. Even if you don't want to do the blue jay, there's two other birds that you could choose. Same kind of concept. Draw the wings, the head, the tail, the body, the legs, um, and then outline it in the color that the bird is. Like there's a red cardinal that looks similar to the blue jay. So instead of, you draw it pretty much exactly the same, but instead of blue marker, you would use a red marker and then you would color the whole bird red. Um, there's also a yellow finch. Um, there's an owl. The owl is different. Um, but the same thing, if the owl, you just choose the marker or the gel pen that the animal color is. Outline it and then watercolor, which is actually really, really fun. So I hope you guys enjoy. Good luck. Take your time. Best effort.